Hey Jack Squad, how everybody doing today? Um, hope all is well and I hope you're making it happen for yourself. You got to make it happen for yourself, right? Uh, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, all of my information, social media information is down in the description box. Um, my email and my cash app is there as well. You can email me, uh, cash app me, please do. I need you guys help. I need your help. Help, help, right? I got something on my hand earlier today. Um, uh, to donate to my channel, uh, Cash App. My Cash App will be down in the description box. Um, T-shirts still available. Uh, they're $20. Uh, small, medium, large, extra large, red, white, red, white, and black. Email me your full name, your full address, and uh, your size and your color. And then I will... Uh, email you your, I'll email you your shipping and handling and you can cash at me your total. Okay. That's how we do that. Um, new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. I thank you guys. My channel is growing and growing and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, don't think I don't notice it. Um, and I am greatly appreciative of it. Okay. So let's get into it. Y'all we talking about love and marriage. My favorite. Now this is my favorite. Now this has replaced housewives. And Married to Medicine, Housewives of Atlanta, and Married to Medicine is Love and Marriage Huntsville. Can't wait for Love and Marriage uh, DMV or whatever it's going to be called come out in next month, right? Um, so this is uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, it took me some good notes because I ain't want to forget nothing. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about Destiny and Martell. Now, they were friends. They were friends first, and then she met Melanie, and uh, her and Melanie were, became close. Now, let me ask you guys something. Drop down in the comments and tell me, if you're friends with somebody first and they break up, do you still remain friends, or do you keep the so-called girl code and not talk to him anymore, even though that was your friend first? What would you guys do? What would you guys do? Now, I remember previous seasons, since Destiny's been on, she's had males back regarding Martell, and she would tell him so. So I think she was being a good friend to both, being in the situation that she was in. She was friends with both of them. Now, Melanie wants her to stop talking to Mel. I don't know if that's feasible. So what do you guys think? Drop down in the comments and tell me, what do you guys think? Should she not talk to Martell anymore, even though that was her friend? And that was a long time, friend. You guys tell me. So she goes to talk. Now, what I probably wouldn't have did, but maybe the producers had a hand in that. I may not have went to his house. I may not have went to his house. Now, I see Martell ain't in that house no more. He in a little apartment. He got an apartment now. He got an apartment. Listen, you know, it's a song that says cheaper to keep her, right? He got that little apartment now. You know, and I doubt if he have all the bedrooms. He probably got two bedrooms or maybe three tops. The boy probably sleep with him and the girl sleep in one room. Everybody, everybody got two bedrooms. But got his little apartment. And so Melanie went over there to talk. I mean, not Melanie. Uh, Destiny went over there to talk to him. So Destiny was telling him what happened when they had to sit down. And that Mel got mad and upset and, and ran away like she always does. And uh, they were rehashing that they've been friends. They were friends first and they've been friends the longest, right? Now, Martell says he, Melanie wants everybody to hate him. I don't think she wants everybody to hate him. I just think she doesn't. See, she right now, this is what I'm saying, what I've been saying. Melanie needs to heal. She need not be on the show. She's the executive producer. I'm, I'm sure she'll still get paid. Or she needs to do some cameos with just her. She doesn't need to be on the show because she can't properly heal because every time you 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 tape, you're reminded of Martell. She's never going to be able to get over him and get through this if she don't stop and take a moment. That's just my uh, unprofessional opinion, right? Uh, just somebody living life and been through that before. You need to, you know, and sometimes you have to cut them people off. Like I told you, my ex, I don't, I love his family, but I don't talk to him. I may talk to one of, one of them you know, through social media, but you don't want to keep being, you don't want to keep being reminded of that person because they're going to say something about it or you're looking at them and you think about it. 
You know, you just don't want to be reminded of that. So I think Melanie needs to stop filming and just take a break. Just take a season out, half a season, however long that is, and just get herself together, right? Because she's angry, so she's going to lash out at everybody that's associated with him. And it's unrealistic and childlike and immature, in my opinion, for her to think that everybody that she know and they know together don't no longer talk to him. He didn't cheat on them. He cheated on you. He didn't betray them. He betrayed you right? That's something y'all got to figure out. You know what I'm saying? And so I personally uh, don't see anything wrong. I, I may limit my conversation, but it, it's, Martel don't like her and she don't like him. They're friends, right? And so uh, that's my that's my, that's my my opinion on that, right? You know, my, Melanie needs to heal and she needs to grow up. I don't know which one she needs to do first, but she needs to do that, right? Because she's not healed and she's never going to heal properly, if she keeps filming, you know, I know she's trying to get her bag and all like that, but I'm sure Carlos King is a somebody you can uh, talk to and uh, he could adjust things around her because I just don't think she needs to be filming right now. You know, you never stop. You just kept on going. And it appears to somebody who don't know no better that she's strong, she's a strong woman, but down in the inside, she hurt. She hurt and she's going to keep hurting until she get away from everything, get with herself and heal. That's what she has to do, right? Uh, so I don't see anything, but like I said, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about Martell and Destiny's friendship, continued friendship, right? All right, then we got Tisha and old crazy-eyed Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda coming in like, <laughs> Miss Wanda come through the room. She come through the room, right? Miss Wanda come through the room. Like old country ass, uh, what she come through the room like? I don't know. I, I, I she come, she coming though. She come through. She come through. She come through. Uh, she come through, right? She look like a. I keep telling y'all, Miss Wanda is cute. She just got crazy ass. She's a cute, nice looking lady. She's dressed like nineteen ninety five, ninety seven. She's circa nineteen ninety something around up in there. Um, but, but that's okay. She's down in Bama. They, they probably hadn't caught up. She's she probably right where she need to be, right? But, uh, this wanted to come through, like she come through. So what was funny was, Tisha said, oh, you ain't, I knew you wasn't really just coming to see me. You going over there to Black. See, it's some men's over there at Black. It's some men's. It's Wanda gonna come through the thing. Y'all hear me? It's Wanda coming through. She coming through the thing, right? I got so much to say about Miss Wanda. So uh, Tisha's telling her that their cousin Kiki went to the Christmas party and talked about Tisha. Kiki did. Now, I was trying to figure out what the dynamic was. I got it now. Kiki's daddy and Wanda are sister and brother. See, I thought maybe her mother and Wanda were sisters. That's why I was like, mm, that's a little odd. You know, the sister's kids are a little closer. And I said, that's a little odd, you know, that they would have them rumblings. You know, families have little rumblings, but it's the daddy, it's Kiki's daddy, who seems to have been always well off and took care of his kids. And then Miss Wanda said her and her kids was down in the projects. So this is something that's going on between the parents and it's trickled down to Tisha and Kiki, right? And as crazy as Miss Wanda is, I know she's instilled in Tisha's head something about Kiki, right? When Kiki, all Kiki want to do is be a cousin. Because Kiki said, I, I'm guessing, because by the way she said it, she wasn't even allowed to be around them. Mm -mm, don't go over there with them old ghetto-ass cousins. Mm -mm, old ghetto-ass one, the messy-ass. But when she got 13 and big enough to know how to get somewhere, she get, she got over there with them. Because you know them cousins be the funnest cousins. Y'all know that. Them be the funnest cousins. Down in the project, listen, y'all. Nobody in my family lived in the projects growing up. But my, I had friends that moved to the projects like when we got a, a little older, right? That was the good, there was some good times, y'all. The projects, jeez. And then when my friends, some of my friends, you know, got grown like 18, 19, they moved in the projects. Child, listen, I, I thought the projects was everything. Now that I'm older, even before that, I, I couldn't raise my kids there because they wouldn't have, they'd have been all in the penitentiary, right? But projects was fun, you know, projects was fun. So, Kiki wanted to be over there with the project cousins. You know what I'm saying? She probably, she wanted to get over there with them. They was having the most fun, right? So, uh, and you got Wanda. You know, Wanda was over there stirring up all kind of mess down up in them projects, child. Well, I could just imagine Miss Wanda door to door with the bull, right? But anyway, 
she was talking. Now, listen, she didn't back down to Miss Wanda. She did not back down to Miss Wanda. No, she did not. She did not back down to her, and she put it out all on the table. So Miss Wanda said, well, how long it's been? No matter how long it's been, hurt is hurt, pain is pain, right? Um, and I believe I want to know what Tisha's, what Tisha said and told Mel them, but they ain't saying it. I, I, I want to know that her man cheat, like what happened? Because whatever happened, Kiki wanted to get her get back. That's why she went to the, to the, to the, to the Christmas pajama party. Cause she wanted, she knew that they was going to talk about Tisha. She knew that she's smart enough. She knew that, you know, at first I thought she, they, she got tricked into that. She went purposefully because they got some history in that family. And I think they've always pitted the girls against each other. And maybe um, the way it sounds, Tisha, Tisha wanted to be like Kiki. Okay, now Tisha done got her a good man with the school. Now Tisha, you know, might be where Kiki want to be. Or I don't know where Kiki at in life. But it's been a rivalry with the cousins, right? That's what I'm saying. And the siblings, their mother and uh, her mother and the father. So... Uh, like I said, daddy didn't want you to associate them all wild. You see, because I was wondering, I, I wanted to know about Miss Wanda's siblings, right? Because she's so much. She's so much, right? And I wanted to know if her siblings was like that, okay? And so the brother was not, and he raised Kiki differently than Miss Wanda was raising. And, you know, I think Miss Wanda had a lot of kids. I can't remember the number. I've got to Google that, but she had a lot of kids, right? So it was a whole bunch of fun over there, a whole bunch of fun, right? And so now the rivalry, rivalry has went to the next generation. And Tisha, I guess once Tisha got to where she thought she was just as good or better than Kiki, she told her business. Something that she told me. And, and, and Tisha said she was telling a friend. But it's some stuff you don't tell. Like, my cousins, I'm not telling a personal, personal business, something that's embarrassing to them. I'm not telling it to my girlfriend. And if I tell the story, I don't put a name on it. I might be referring to something when I'm talking to somebody, but I don't put a name on it, right? You just don't do that. You know, you don't do that. You don't do that. And so um, Kiki held her own, Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda, yeah, Miss Wanda got in her confessional. Couldn't hardly understand a word she was saying. What is, what kind of language is that? Is that Bama East? She was talking Bama East, girl. She said, um, uh, and, and I was trying to figure out what she was saying because she's saying it fast. Her tongue is tied in. She country. So you had to really have your ear to listen, right? She was saying image. Uh, 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 Kiki image of, um, uh, Kiki image of, um, Tisha. And she kept saying that word. And I was like, that don't go together. So it was missing some words in my mind, right? And then after I heard it again, I said, oh, she said, Envious. Now she have did better off. Envious was too big of a word for her. She have did better off. She would say jealous or hater. Hater would have been more her in her league. But she kept saying it. And she kept saying it. And I was waiting for production or whoever was filming to stop her and say, "Wait, what you saying?" Because the whole thing you couldn't understand what she was saying. Right? You had to sit down. See, when you went on to talking and she get to talking too much, you have to stop what you're doing and get a good listen. You know, cause you, you gotta, cause you don't know what she's saying and where it fit in, and you, you know, you can, I can figure out crazy folk language, right? But you take a minute, you you, you got to, you got to, you know, it take a minute to figure out what they saying. I never forget it was a guy I grew up with, and he was friends to my daughter's father, and we lived together, and he went crazy by this time, but he was a nice guy, so he would always come over, right? Cause that was his friend, you know, he that was still his friend. He's crazy, and he wasn't gonna hurt nobody. He just he just talked. Very abstractly. And I could figure him out what he was trying to say, right? But the word, nothing matched. Nothing went together. Nothing flowed. But I could understand him. Wanda, on the other hand, I would probably be able to better understand or understand her quicker. But she's got the country draw. So it, it really confuses and complicates things, right? And Wanda kept saying she image a Tisha. She in, and I said, now y'all ain't going to stop her from looking ignorant like that. Because Wanda look ignorant. Now, let me tell you something. Wanda is a pretty woman. When they put her together in her 1997 outfits and hairdos, she's pretty. She got dimples. Her skin is good. She's cute. She looks like an older t-shirt. Kiki looks like her. Matter of fact, Kiki look like her. Um, to me, more so than Tisha. But um, her at, when she, when she, once she started talking and her attitude and her eyes bucking, it takes away from all of that, right? 
So anyway, like I said, uh, uh, and they got it real nice in her confessionals. They did that last season, but the first two seasons, she was looking like uh, Pearly May or somebody, but they got it together now. But um, Kiki stood up to her and tried to explain to her what was happening. And then, you know, Miss Wanda always said, because when you mess with Tisha, you mess with me. Like, all oh, that's project thinking. You know, she Miss Wanda's probably out there fighting all the people, all the parents, all the everybody, all the time. The kids, you know, she's just doing everything, right? But at some point, you got to let Tisha fight her battles. But what I think, Tisha allows her mother to do that. There ain't no thing I know. She allows her mother to do that. Because if you ever watch them when her mother's talk, especially when she's talking to Marceau, Tisha, the look she has on her eyes, she don't, it don't be no stop. Wait, hold on now. Wait a minute. It's my husband. She, she's waiting for the answer from Marceau. So her mother speaks for her. Her mother speaks for her. Now, what I found interesting is Miss Wanda came over there to talk business, right? So she got her business license. Uh-uh, Miss Wanda, I'm going to need you to have some samples. Now, it was, now, what she need to do, and I'm waiting on them to do this. Miss Wanda going to have a food truck. So what she needs to do, and she said what she was going to have, I forgot what it is, baked, I think loaded potatoes. So what Miss Wanda needs to do is go down to Black, set up a date, go down to Black, and have a sampling of what's going to be on her food truck. That's good business. That's good business, right? That's good marketing. You already got a spot. Have an afternoon, a Sunday evening, a Sunday afternoon, preferably. And this is, or Saturday afternoon, maybe Saturday afternoon because it's not dinner, it's potatoes. And and uh, or a happy hour and have a uh, samples of your loaded potato. That's what she needs to do. Because you coming in there with that little business certificate, that ain't nothing, honey. We need to see what the food, what the food gonna be about. And she wants, she wants Marceau to give her money. And then Tisha said, because I can, she didn't say I can make him do what I want, but she, she said it in enough other words, right? I can make him do what I want him to do. Which that's a lie. Because if when it first came out, you couldn't even come out the house, sis. So don't get all like that now. Because you couldn't even come out at, at first, right? You 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 was definitely in the house. So don't be talking about you can you can sway him to do what you want him to do. No, you can't. But anyway, um, that's what Miss Wanda needs to do. Um, I'm looking I, I wonder how that would be Miss Wanda with the public. What would her customer service look like, y'all? What would Miss Wanda's customer service look like on the food truck? Lord have mercy. Um, but anyway, uh, then Tisha told her, well, you can sh go in the kitchen and this and that and that and that. And I'll help you with the financial. See, that's, that's where it's going to go bad. That Miss Wanda needs to hire somebody for her books. I, I don't see her adding her money and doing her money properly. I ain't saying she's going to spend it. I'm saying how she get it. And then you got to put money back out to get your, pro I, I don't see Miss Wanda doing that well. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe she is a money genius, but I just don't see her handling that well. She's too messy. Messy is her realm, not business. But we're going to see. We're going to see. But anyway, that's enough, Miss Wanda. I'm going to lay off Miss Wanda right now. Now, now, let me tell you something. What I, what I think I'm about to see, and it kind of disturbed me a little bit. Your, your man, your husband should be the closest thing to you, right? So Mel and Tiffany talk, and, and, and Tiffany tells her that she's uh, going to look for her dad in Utah. I think her dad's white. I don't know, but I think so. Because she said she was mixed, so maybe daddy white. She's going to look for her dad in Utah. Now, this is the problem. That's okay. Mel said, well, I can go because they call me detective girl and all that. Mm -hmm. What Mel about to do is, is Mel about to fuck up their relationship. That's what she's about to do, right? So... Tiffany goes home, set up a nice dinner at an Airbnb for Lewis. Uh, then she tells Lewis she wants a baby. Now she's on the cusp. Let me just say that I don't know how old Lewis is, but she said she was thirty. She looks she looks so old. She said she was thirty three, but she looked older to me. She was like forty three. But anyway, she's on the cusp of being too late to have a baby. And quite frankly, I don't think you should have kids after thirty thirty one. That, that's my opinion. You know, you got to, to me, it's a small window. People have babies at 40, 50, that's stupid. You know, if you ain't never had one, okay, I get it. But listen, babies wear you out. They wear your body out, first off. They wear your body out. And you 50, 49, 48, having them babies at that late age, that's wearing you out. Listen, but anyway, that's a whole other topic. But um, she's on the cusp of being too late to have a baby, right? And uh, I, I'm, 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 
I'm assuming that Lewis doesn't want any more kids. He got his and she got hers. They got one each. That's cool. That's enough. We good. She wants a baby, right? And sometimes you get baby fever, especially around that age when you see other little babies and stuff. You get baby fever. But for me, it quickly, you know, went away. But um, she wants a baby, right? He don't really want one. He said, well, you working. He said it nicely. Now, this, now they was being so, talking about everybody else's relationship. They got some stuff going on in theirs, too. Because she want a baby and he don't. And he's trying to convince her not they don't want one because, you know, you work. And she said, well, we can figure it out. Blah, blah, blah. He don't want no baby. He just to say it on camera. He don't want no baby, right? And when they got, when the cameras was off and they was in the bed, he told her, I don't want no kids. Now, she said, well, I thought this is where Tiffany went wrong. I thought I could make it into a girl's trip. Now, here's your man. Let me break it down for y'all. Your man, if you, especially if you got a good one, he's supportive of you. He wants to, he wants to protect you, your heart, your feelings, everything, right? You going on a mission that's going to be emotional. Your man want to be right there for you and with you, right? You decide to take male's country sloppy ass, right? I shouldn't have said sloppy, but she is being sloppy, right? Um, you want to take male, and then she says, because male can say the things I can't say. So you done put male ahead of your husband. Not your boyfriend, not your sidekick, not your, your sneaky leak, your husband, who is already prepared to stand in the gap to protect you and be with you and comfort you while you go on this journey. Okay? You're going to take male. What you think male going to do? Male going to be there. She's going to come back and tell your business. And then she might not talk to you for a while. So when she told Lewis, he said, so is this why you did the dinner? See, he read right through all that. Is this why you did the dinner? And I can tell he just didn't try to show it too much on camera. He was not happy with that. I could tell, right? Now, he cleaned it up in the confessional and said, well, whatever you like to do, I'm your husband, so so I would like to be there and all that. He said the right words, but I could tell the sisters were hurt. Now, right there, she put a ding in their relationship because you done put somebody else in front of your husband at a monumental time. Finding your dad is monumental. Your man's supposed to be there. Not this broad who might not be your friend next month. Anyway, I'm, I'm waiting to see how that turns out. Because I'm telling you, I'm waiting on Mel to turn against Tiffany. The minute Tiffany doesn't do something Mel thinks she should do, it's going to go bad for her. Because now Mel has introduced Stormy to the situation. See? She, she's replaced some folks. She got Stormy in there now, right? And uh, Stormy is the one who has more money than Mel. And Mel was doing her photo shoots and videos at her estate. Stormy has an estate, right? So now, um, um, we're, I'm waiting to see how that goes with uh, with Tiffany and Lewis, because that's going to open the box. That's going to open the box for some stuff, right? That's going to open the box. Um, now, I saw the previews. The pre look, it looked like it's going to get gooder and gooder. Is that a word, gooder? It looks like it's going to get gooder and gooder, right? And it looks like Kiki knows some stuff about Marcel. And it looks like Marcel, not Marcel, Marceau. I said Marcel. Kiki knows some stuff about Marceau. And it, them M's get to me. And Marceau got some skeletons in the closet. That's what it's looking like, y'all. And Tisha going to find out. Now, this is what I think. This is what I know. Tisha already know. Uh, if my Mar if Marceau has been cheating, Tisha already know. She just don't want y'all to know that she know. She don't want y'all to know, and she don't want y'all to know that she know, right? And she really don't want Miss Wanda to know, cause Miss Wanda will come in there and wreck house, right? Uh, but there's something big going on. Something big is 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 to come. Something big is to come, and I personally don't want their relationship to break, even though they go break. Tisha ain't going nowhere, right? I don't want it to break. I don't want it to break because they got a good thing going. They got businesses and stuff. But Tisha said something about it. And she said it before. Like that would be a deal breaker. So maybe Marceau has cheated before or almost cheated or she thought she cheated and she didn't told you. Okay, nigga, I done told you. I'm going to take everything you got. Don't do it, right? Now, also, I forgot this part. Martel invited all the guys back to Atlanta. They going back to Atlanta. Now, my soul, he four. Yeah, what's up? Let's go. I'm ready. Right? How long are we going to stay? Um, they're going back to Atlanta. 
And I see on the preview, uh, Melanie. See, Melanie's so bitter. And I don't care. You know, some of some of my subscribers said, you know, Melanie ain't uh, mad. She just, you know, they were saying what they said. Listen, Melanie was not nice before the breakup to them people, right? And you can't be mad at them. You know, some of my subscribers uh, said that they all knew she was cheating. He was cheating. They should have told her. Listen, you can't tell people. I know some folks that was dear to me. You know, my sister was in a relationship and her, her dude was cheating. I know I, I know. as a young girl, you can't do that because what happens is they'll turn on you and they're not going to believe you. It'll just cause confusion. You have to let that play out. You have to let that play out. And the only way Tisha's going to understand and see that is she's got to see it. She's got to see that sexual act. Even if she see him with a woman, like in the room or somewhere, she ain't going to, because he going to explain that all because he talk over her and he knows how to manipulate the conversation. She had to see the actual before she would do anything. And at that, and even at that, I don't think it's too much she could do because she relies on him, even though she's half, she's more than 50% on him. Marceau said that. But, and I think that's to make her feel secure in their relationship, Right. So she's ready to take all of that. That's what I'm saying. Even though she says she's not, but it's going to be juicy. It's about to get spicy. I told y'all in season, uh, episode one and two, it was, it was, it was a buildup and there's some rumblings. There's some rumblings going on. Now it's about to come full boil, right? So anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, hit the like button. Y'all need y'all to hit the like button. Please. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, too, when I'm watching somebody's video. Then I have to remember, oh, hit the like button, right? Hit the like button for me, y'all. Now, I'm getting ready to go ahead and watch uh, Zeus, Bad Boys. If you come on tonight, Bad Boys of L.A., see what see what they doing. See what the, see what the girls is doing, right? Um, and don't forget the T-shirts. Um, oh, and I got to say to my girl, Tanya Smith, she got married Friday. I meant to talk about it yesterday. She got married Friday. Um, she lives here in Georgia. And uh, she's a subscriber. And she's my friend. And she got married Friday. So I want to say congratulations publicly. I've already told her. But uh, let's just give her a congratulations and a clap clap. And wish them well for life. Um, she sent me some pictures. He's a very handsome. They look very good together. He's a handsome guy. Uh, he's established. Um, and she met him on a dating site. Like, I'm, I'm sick of the dating site. Them niggas can go somewhere and drop, go somewhere. I was up and say, I almost cussed. I'm sick of them Negroes on date site. I know plenty of people. I know several people who have happy endings. Not for me. Mm -mm. But anyway, y'all, he got to come from out the sky. So I'm the only way that come from. But and, <clears throat> anyway, y'all, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Don't forget to uh, like and don't forget the t-shirts. And if you want to donate to my channel, please do. So anyway, I'm going to talk about, you know, I've been trying not to delay it, but I'm going to talk about Nene trying to, she's going to sue them peoples. I'm going to give you my opinion on that. It'll be tomorrow, okay? Might be, it's going to be real quick, but it'll be tomorrow. All right, y'all. Have a good weekend.